Hello, welcome to this video extras for iPad Pro. Today's extra, I'm going to be going through Notion and just writing a simple tune with the iPad app. So here's the main launch screen. Uh, you are presented all the scores you're working on, chronological order. You can also sort by the A to Z model. You have the option to import from Dropbox right there. You have all the sounds that are downloaded and you can enable more downloads and you can go to the store to buy some additional packs of sounds that are not included. And the desktop button will just bring you to their website. And then you have templates, and these templates enable you to quickly get up and running with the brass quintet, wind quintet, all sorts of different options there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just simply go into and create a simple uh, piano tune by going to scores, we're gonna create new, and we're gonna just call this iPad Pros. and it's now creating a score called iPad Pros. We're going to add the piano, and then we're able to add other instruments, of course, as well. Uh, saxophone has both orchestral and jazz versions, but we're just gonna stick with piano. We're gonna add this stat save, and uh, we're gonna go in here, and we can change the score setup. Uh, we can change the view options to just piano, if you want to, or full score. Uh, we're in screen view now, but there's print continuous, you can also show it to be shown in concert tuning or concert pitch. This is helpful if you're working with the saxophone and you want to see everything in C so you're able to visualize easier what chords uh, correlate properly. We're able to enable Bluetooth MIDI uh, keyboards through that interface as well. But here's the main interface for Notion. We have the piano down here, which you can turn on or off by hitting this button here. You're able to enable handwriting by uh, selecting that. You're able to pull up the handwriting bar down there by hitting that. You're able to do uh, change the balance uh, right there. You are able to turn up uh, a fretboard or a drum kit if drums were enabled. But let's just start with some simple handwriting. So we're trying to handwriting and I'm gonna just write directly in the score. So I'm gonna do a simple bass line going ascendingly down, ascending down a a scale uh, in thirds. So we're just going to do quarter notes down a scale. We're going to do, uh, you know, let's just do three measures of this. And as you can see, it's really accurate. It's really fast. And And you can erase by just white, uh, scratching it out like that. And sometimes it doesn't get it at all, but yeah, you can scratch it out and it'll get rid of it. And let's just end with a whole note like that. There we go. So we got three measures here. And let's add uh, some piano above it, so a tune above it. Now, I'm not going to do handwriting, although I could do it up there. I'm going to enable the piano. And that note that uh, icon here that I'm enabling and disabling it enables either audition or creating mode so when that is not enabled it will not input notes as I create as I play down here but I'm going to enable that and I'm going to pull this palette up this lets you change between quarter notes eighth notes sixteenth notes so I'm going to do some quarter notes I have F and A down there so I'm going to do F A C and then I'm gonna just, you know, fill out a melody, uh, doing some different things down here. So you can see how quick and e easy this is to uh, write music uh, with this application. And then here we go, we've got a basic melody. So there we go, that's our beginning of our piece right there. So now that we have this basic three measure bar, let's duplicate this. We're gonna do that by hitting the selection tool here. And this big selection tool, I'm able to highlight this. We're able to duplicate it. And we're gonna, now that's duplicated and selected, we're gonna hit more up here. And we're able to transpose this. So we're gonna transpose this up a major third. And we're gonna transpose that up. And we're gonna duplicate this again. 
And we're able to go into more. Transpose it yet again. Up a major fourth this time. And then we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to go in and we're going to select, select this here. And we're going to transpose it yet again up a major fifth. So there we go. Actually, and then we're going to go down. Let's go down. Let's transpose it yet again. We're going to transpose it down uh, one octave. Uh, second and an octave. So there we go. So, and then finally we're going to just tap. I'm using the Apple Pencil for accurate input. So I'm going to tap on the bar. And we're going to go in here and change it to... Uh, a double double bar there so we've got all this here we've got the tempo is steady here and what we're going to do is we're going to make it progressively faster as the piece progresses so we're going to change that to quarter note equals 100 so there we go we're going to change this oops so we're able to just drag this around if you want to so when we're able that to quarter note equals 110. And we're going to do this one at 120. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a cell rondo uh, that we're going to input here. So we can go in here and ha add the marking of the cell rondo, which I believe is done... Yeah, so we can select all this here, and we're going to choose a cell rondo. So cell rondo, a cell rondo has been chosen, so it'll speed up uh, progressively as we go through this piece. And we're going to enable, we're going to select again. So we're going to select here, and we're going to do a dynamic a selection. So here we're able to, uh, actually you don't do dynamic selection with the selection tool. So we're going to start pianismo, or piano, uh, we're going to do piano. We're going to select there, piano. We're going to do crescendo. So we're going to use the selection tool. And we're going to crescendo up to here. So crescendo is enabled. And it looks like you need to do one stave at a time for crescendos. So there we go. And we're going to add uh, some dynamic markings here. That's a forte. That's a forte. And we're going to go in here, do this as forte, that is forte, and then finally we're going to be loud, fortissimo. And let's go in here and do some more selections to do uh, crescendos. Let's crescendo. So you can see, you can get the gist of what you're able to do there with crescendo. So uh, we'll end, end this part here and we'll now dive into the more part of this application. So a little bit ago you did see me use the more to do the transpositions. We're going to go back into the more. So I'm using selection to select all this here. And we're going to do more. And with more I can do some, some special things here. I can, for the notes, I can change all the stems to down stems. So there we go, I've changed all those down stems. In the selection tool I can also, as you just saw, use a slur. So I can slur all these notes here. And I'm going to do a slur. And there we go, those are all, uh, those are tied together with a slur. I can change how that note is displayed. Say I want that displayed as a G flat. I can hit this here and that will uh, display this as a G flat. So uh, you can you have different options there to do things like that. Uh, let me go through some different options for input. So this little finger enables you to do touch input. So I'm able to, you can see this little crosshairs and I'll see where I'm inputting notes. And I can change uh, to eighth notes if I want to. So there's touch input, I don't prefer that. I like handwriting or I like the keyboard to do input as well. If I want to erase something, I, let me um, go into just the regular mode of touching and I can hit erase and that will erase different things. Uh, it's mainly used to erase 
when it's uh, yellow like that, so I can erase that. I can erase the odd tempo. So that's now erased. I can uh, do some things. I can do trills, so I can add trill like that. I can add pedal markings. I can go in here and make this flat. So it's the B that's flat. I can make that natural now. So you can go in there and change uh, things of that nature. I'm able to go in here and change, uh, you know, add different markings there. So I can go and add staccatos, all with this touch interface. This marking here, this little undo, will undo it. So I can undo mistakes I make. So you can see how easy it is to just go in here and change the uh, articulations. I can go in here, change the fortissimo, all of that. Then you're also able to change within here. You saw me earlier doing this uh, to change the tempo. I can go in here and also change the staves. And I can do rehearsal markings by hitting that there. And I can do lyrics, lots of different things. Uh, I can also do articulations through just using the handwriting. So I can go in here and change the handwriting, and I can do that as a slur. And I can add legato like that. So there's all sorts of options to go in here and change articulations with handwriting, which is really, really helpful. So here's the piece that we've created uh, just in a couple minutes, and let me play it back for you. And I hope you've enjoyed this video extra. And this is just a little bit about how you create music right on the iPad, really simple, no MIDI keyboard used at all, although it does support USB and Bluetooth MIDI keyboards. So let's, uh, let's go back to the very beginning and let's hit play. And there we are. That is what we came up with in this uh, these few short minutes. Now, as a final part of this video extra, I just want to show you getting this out of Notion and into something else. So there's a couple of different options you have. You hit this export button, and then you have the option to say it, send this as a Notion file, which you can use on the Windows client or the Mac client. You have a PDF export. We have PDF parts. This is if you're uh, going to send this off to uh, get performed and you have lots of parts. It'll export each of the score parts as a, a part for them. Music XML, which is used in Finale, Sibelius, and other music notation apps. Wave, AAC, and MIDI. So if I want to send this off as a wave, I can do that. That's just a pure audio file. And my favorite option is the send to option. This lets me send it off to different apps. So I can send it off to Ferrite if I want, or to uh, a movie editor such as iMovie, send that to the Files app. So you can send it anywhere within that. And then I can also send this off as a PDF. So I can send it off the PDF and the same option there, but different options. I'm gonna send that to say documents, I can do that. So I can send this off to documents. And here we are, here's the, the final piece within documents and really beautiful. Uh, PDF of that. I also have it in Ferrite, which I've already done the export. There's the metadata that was created with it. And if I go in here, I can look at the waveform. So those are all the sharing options you have within Notion. I hope you've enjoyed this video extra. Thanks for listening to iPad Pros. I'd really appreciate it if you could review this show on iTunes. If you have any feedback, please email me at iPadProsPodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.